Hey guys, this is Flying Fab and welcome back to my Flight Report series. So in case you're new to this channel or you do only know my cinematic flight reports, don't worry as this is just an addition to all my other videos. I really do consider them necessary since I cannot convey all the important aspects in such a short video without comprehensively explaining what you can or cannot expect on board. So this series really focuses on people who'd like to know the details of every single flight. Before I booked this flight, I had done a quick research on Avianca's current state. And of course, I heard a lot of very bad things about it. Horrible service, no proper food, dirty aircrafts and more. But since I'm a very optimistic guy, I dare to hop on this 6 hour flight from Buenos Aires to Bogota. I mean, what could go wrong, the seat looks quite good and I ate quite a lot in the lounge. I could still just sleep for 6 hours straight and somehow I would survive, right? Of course, you won't get an amenity kit though, but thank god you will get some... Yeah, well, not too exciting headphones to say the least. The seat is a typical reverse herringbone seat which comes in a 1 to 1 configuration, so it can't be too bad at all. After all, it has lots of storage space, such as the little compartment on your left or the bigger one on your lower right hand side. But alright, we still got lots of time for complaints left, so let's just enjoy the amazing takeoff. Quite a beautiful takeoff, I gotta admit. And I really gotta say that I do like these iconic Dreamliner windows, which can be dimmed by pressing the button beneath it. The entertainment system of Avianca is not something you would get on a good airline, but at least it worked and there were, nah, actually very few movies available. Furthermore, the table is quite alright. I mean, it's not the biggest one out there, but I've seen worse. So now that we've covered all the positive aspects of this flight, let's get right back to all the bad things. Of course I tried out the bad mode and I was looking forward to some great rest, but wait. Avianca doesn't even offer a blanket or pillow respectively. On a 6 hour flight, what's wrong with you guys? I mean, <laughs> what the fuck, this is supposed to be business class and you're, you don't even offer a blanket. Well done. Look at this beautifully neglected piece of seat padding, which thank god Avianca gave access to some air so that it doesn't hyperventilate due to the misery of having to be a poor seat component in the aircraft of the world's worst airline. I was sitting on 6A, which is a bulkhead seat, and considering my height of about 6 feet 2, the seat was definitely too short. Even though I'm a terrible actor, I guess even I was able to somehow convey that this seat is not that great actually. Avianca's 787 lavatories are quite basic, but in my case at least they were clean.
thinking about things that are not that great on Avianca, I'd like to present you the most sophisticated 5-star Michelin meal of any airline in the world. A dry sandwich, complemented by a few cheap snacks and a coffee, served in a high-quality porcelain... Oh, damn, I mean styrofoam cup. Thank God, though, Avianca provides you with some delicious coffee creamer instead of using their completely empty galley as a livestock barn in order to milk some cows and, I don't know, get you some fresh whole milk. Asking the crew for anything such as a blanket doesn't make any sense at all, since they simply don't have anything on board. I asked for an amenity kit or at least a toothbrush, which of course they did not have. There is a single thing I liked about this flight. The views were really great, but I mean that doesn't justify a completely overpriced business class product. Don't get me wrong, I'm not someone whose standards have become too high. I usually love to fly in business class, even if not everything's perfect. But this was one of the very few flights in my life on which I was just thinking that I'd actually prefer to just stay at home. I really don't get why Avianca is still struggling that hard not to go bankrupt when their planes are fully booked and they do not offer anything that costs money. During the whole flight, I was asked twice whether I'd like to have a water or coke. Twice. On a six hour flight in business class, they only offered water and coke. And I mean, they also offered the very bad coffee inside the styrofoam cup, but I mean, that was just for lunch and I wouldn't even call it lunch, it was just a very bad dry sandwich. Damn, I'm done with Avianca. I will simply never ever fly them again, and I really do hope you don't spend a single buck on this terrible product. Cheers, guys.